Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'll take you through how I painted this decayed axe you might have seen on the Lord Executioner that I finished recently uh, that I posted on my Instagram. So I decided to go with the scale 75 copper range for this so I'm going to be using decayed metal by scale 75 as a base coat. Now originally this was a white scar undercoat um, However, any undercoat will do just fine. Uh, if it's over black, you may need to do uh, the two coats, but uh, I found just the one to be fine. So with the decayed metal now dry, I decided to move on to Victorian brass. And for the most part, I'm just going to be doing fairly subtle highlights with this, as I wanted the decayed metal to be the sort of standout color. Uh, until we move on to the additional effects that I'll be doing for the axe, of course. So as you can see, I've got barely anything on my brush, and I'm just doing some really minor scratch marks just across the axe there. And of course, just some edge highlighting as well. And just to finish off the metallics, I decided to use some Stormho Silver. Really just focusing over the Victorian brass. Um, as you can see, once again, barely any paint on my brush. And uh, just doing some subtle highlights and picking out some more scratches on the axe. So with all of the metallics now done, I'm going to be moving on to some pretty cool effects just to add a little bit more character to the axe. So as you can see, most of the paints are really watered down as I want these effects to be quite subtle. So as you can see, I'm just going to begin applying some of the Doom Ball Brown and I'm just going to gradually sort of move that around. Um, almost as though you're sort of, um, you know, smudging the paint and uh, just sort of moving it around. And without having washed my brush, I'm just gonna jump straight into Troll Slayer Orange, and I'm just gonna begin gradually building that up. So as you can see, sort of uh, lightly blending the orange with the uh, brown. And once again, uh, the paint is quite watered down, as you can see. So we're really just looking to very, very gradually uh, build this up.
And now as you can see I'm just going to be doing some small dots of the Troll Slayer Orange. And this is just going to add a lot to, as you can see, uh, to the metallics uh, already sort of decayed effect. Um, just that sort of rusted uh, effect. So this would be really cool, uh, as you can see, of course, on uh, for Nighthorn and uh, Chaos would be another one. Skaven. And now for the second part of the effect, I'm just going to begin by, uh, in the same method as how I applied the Doom Bull Brown, uh, I'm just going to gradually once again uh, begin the next effect with Sotek Green. So nice and watered down. And as you can see as well, I'm just sort of picking out random spots. Um, you don't have to always have these sort of effects right next to each other. And to begin highlighting the Sotek Green, I decided to go ahead and use uh, Cyberite Green, or Cyberite Green. Uh, I've heard a few different pronunciations for this one, but I've always uh, referred to it as Cyberite Green. So as you can see, leaving a hint of the Sotek Green visible, and then just uh, in the same method as before with the Troll Slayer Orange, just going to begin uh, highlighting up all of the Sotek Green with the Cyberite Green. And as a final touch for the effect, I wanted to just begin highlighting the Cyberite Green with some Gorse Blaster Green. So really just some dot points are uh, kind of randomly placed over, over the, um, the uh, blue-green tones. And this will just really add a nice final touch. And just as a final touch, I, I thought I'd include this part just in case you were uh, working on this exact model as well. But uh, just to blend the effect into the sort of uh, the ghostly appearance, I decided just to uh, begin blending some of that and then moving on to Ulthorn Grey, just to begin highlighting into that.
And here are some photos of the completed axe. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. If you did, leave a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel today. And I will see you again very, very soon.